Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. On this video, TTGO T Display Web Server and Web Client, I got this comment here, and the gentleman's asking me about scrolling text on the TTGO T Display. I got the bright idea I'd try programming T Display in microblocks. So here, I'm going to erase and flash the microblocks firmware on the TTGO T Display so I can work with it in microblocks. And I tied all the various TFT options in microblocks. I'm just showing you one of the examples I tried here. I was working frantically through several different examples. You see, I get the program to light up green like it's running, but when we look at the T display, I just got the blue power light and a blank display. I'll even reset it just for good measure. Yeah, nothing doing. So I bricked my TTGO T display. So what to do now? Well, I go back to the T-Display GitHub repository. And while I'm looking at this, come to find out there's a new streamlined factory test program. They've simplified it even more, but we're going to go to the firmware first. There's the instructions. You just make it look like that picture. I've already downloaded the LilyGo TTGO bin file there. Now you go to the Espressif website, under Tools, you're going to download that ESP32 download tool. I've extracted mine to my C drive, and when I double click it, Windows is going to give me the warning, ah, don't install it, and I'm going to say go ahead, because I'm actually not installing anything, I'm just running it. So I say install anyway. Going to use developer mode. ESP32 download tool. We're going to select the correct serial port. Let's go see what the picture says. Yeah, it says 80, and those other two tick boxes are already at the default, and then we just have to put the file in. So we click this to 80. Leave those two tick boxes at default. We're going to find our bin file here. And just make sure to put a zero in this box right here. And we're ready to go. Start the flashing. Wow, that was pretty quick. So now we're going to install the factory test example. Let's look at the instructions here. All you need is the TFT ESPI folder in your Arduino libraries folder. Let's check it out. Yeah, I've downloaded the zip file and I've gone ahead and copied just the TFT ESPI folder into Arduino libraries. You'll see that right here. Yeah, I didn't even import it as a library. Okay. So they say use the ESP32 dev module, select disable PS RAM, and select the 4 megabyte flash size option. Leave the rest as default. You might want to check my other video about managing boards and libraries in Arduino IDE. One of the things you want to do is include that Espressif URL in the additional board manager library in preferences. Now we're going to select the board. ESP32 dev module. I'm going to make sure I get the correct COM port. Now we're going to check that PS RAM is disabled and the 4 megabyte flash size is enabled. Okay, looks good. So now I'm just going to browse and open up the factory test example from that TFT ESPI libraries folder. Examples, factory test, 
and let's hit upload. And we're going to crop some of this out while it compiles. Okay, it's writing it out. Cross your fingers. There goes the reset. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got the TT Go T display. Then it's going to flash through the colors. Then it's going to come to the instruction page. Let's reset it just to check it again. Logo. Colors. Now notice here it says SD card mount fail. So they've added a SD card functionality in the latest firmware and in this example factory test. And this is a lot simpler than it was before. So now we can go on to try scrolling text, but we're not going to use microblocks this time. So thank you and stay tuned. Give this video a like. Click down below for the links in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click over here to check out the TTGO playlist. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.